How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbon Gaming. Welcome back to this week's Dragon Faber release video and first of all I would like to apologize to you guys. Really really sorry that uh, this release video came out so late but you know uh, I had some you know family uh, emergency going on uh, earlier today that was why I couldn't you know get the video out so i see all of you guys understanding i am trying my best to get the videos out as quickly as possible so uh yeah hopefully everything goes well and you know i'll still be able to continue putting up videos for you guys for the next few days so yeah uh i'm a little bit affected but uh hopefully i'll still be able to maintain a chibi mood for this video as much as i want to because uh i do think it's a great release i've not played through it yet but i read through the design notes and i've seen the comments that people are, are giving so uh hopefully i can do it justice with this video by not being a too you know gloomy regarding my own personal matters all right so first things first you have the december dc specials to go through the winter's harbinger this is a returning item if i'm not wrong so uh this one not best in stock for anything so if you just want it for the looks you can go ahead and get it and the winter's harbinger helm as well i believe this should be <clears throat> it could be best in stock for ice or wind resist i'm not entirely sure don't quote me on this i know for a fact that uh fire resist you have better one in puzzling cards but this one wind or ice resist could be best in stock i i am not too sure okay so don't quote me on that but uh, again, if you like the design, you can go and get it. Otherwise, I would say you can probably pass it up. Uh, next up, we have the anti-thesis weapons. Okay, they have finally made a return. And these are some really, really good weapons. Okay, uh, really consistent damage range, 96 to 96. And look at that that range. Uh, look at that stat bonus, guys. 50. A whopping 50. Okay, so these are... I believe they are best in slot for something. Uh, I'm not sure if it's ice damage or... Uh, one one of the main sets is probably best in stock for one of the main sets. So if you want to min max your build, I guess you can consider picking these up. They are not uh weak weapons by any means, and they definitely have a function apart from you know just looking fantastic. So yeah, if you guys have the DCs to spare, definitely go ahead and pick these up. I already have them. Okay, I don't think I have all of them. I think I have the staff and the sword. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, the stat boost is absolutely crazy. On top of that, you get very nice fire and ice resist at 13. So this is actually a really good weapon to pick up if you don't have it already. Let me just go ahead and double check and see which ones I have. And the... Oh, okay. So I got a sword version. Okay, should I get a staff version? Hmm. You know what? Maybe I should. Yeah, you know what, what the heck, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the staff version as well because intelli intellect is a really good stat to have. So let's buy the NTDC staff 9. Okay, uh, you want the <coughs> to buy the highest level version for these ones, for these weapons uh, because of their stats. So you're not using it for the special, you're using it for its stats. And you can switch, oh, uh, it switches between fire and ice damage on each hit. So you cannot switch it manually, it just uh, automatically switches by itself, okay? Now, next part. Uh, we have the December DC specials. I believe I already went through this in a Let's Play DF video, but I know those videos don't get as much views as my weekly release videos. So I'll just go through this again here. Uh, these are just, in my opinion, purely cosmetic. They are not best in stock for anything. So, you know, if you like the design, you can go ahead and get them. I do think this looks pretty nice. And the Severized Scythe, this one was created by Dracelix, if I'm not wrong. Okay, again, another cosmetic, purely cosmetic weapon. 400 DCs. Uh, I do feel that the... I, I'm not such a big fan of this, personally speaking. Like, I'll probably rate the art like a 6.5, 7 out of 10. Yeah. So, I'm not such a big fan of the art, but you know, art is pretty subjective. So, if you guys like the artwork, you can pick this up. Otherwise, you can pass on it since this is a purely cosmetic item. Alright, now for today's main release, that is... Uh, Tinder's Depths. This week it's time to set out from Dragon's Grasp and journey to reclaim what has been lost. Embark on a voyage to Dragon's Vark which has drifted far into the open waters of the Tinder's Depths. Braving the perils of the Northern Sea on your way. Explore the depths and see what you can glean of the situation. So let's head over to Book Tree Sword Haven. Also the Frostville Storybook is out. If you guys are wondering uh, if there's anything good to get from Frostville, you guys can go ahead and check out the Seasonal Items Guide video. Uh, put the link in the card to the top right corner of the screen right now. So go ahead and check out that video to see if there's anything that's uh, good that you guys want to pick up from Frostville, okay? <clears throat> Oops. 
Okay, uh, ooh, into the unknown. Wait. Okay, so it's a short little introduction first before we can access the actual quest. Oh, I can see Kara practicing her wind magic here. Very, very cool. Oh, and this sound check, I recognize it from AQ Wars. Yeah, I don't know if they used this sound check in Dragon Faber before, but uh, I think I've heard of this sound check in AQ Wars a lot more. We are truly intending to sail to this other city. I'm disappointed you do not get to fly on the back of another dragon, Ostromir. What? No, absolutely not. I'm only commenting on the relative efficiency of an, an ancient sailing ship compared to the speed of... Right. No, truly, I... The reason we are sailing is because we don't have enough dragons for everyone. A lot of the refugees want to go back and fight. That's it, Tinder's depths are ever dangerous, even more so since Draegar's Vark was lost. And so I would request that Koriban and Destroyer travel aboard the ship as well. If the worst were to occur, if the fungus were to attack the ship directly, I would prefer the hero and his dragon to be present. Of course, you need us to do the dirty work, <laughs> don't you? Understood, Galanor. I mean, I'm sure they are all, you know, powerful warriors who can handle themselves. Like, uh, what's a few little mushrooms to them, right? Probably not a big threat, but of course they need us, the hero, to be on board to uh, take care of things. <laughs> it's so uplifting to see everyone working together, isn't it? Rose and Vin, Dragon Lords and Refugees, to think something as simple as preparing a ship for a journey could bring such unity. What are you getting at, Elf? The more the falsehoods we hold as true our challenge, the harder we push back. I apologize, your assertions are correct. Changing the world takes time, as does changing the way we think, the way we view each other. So it does. So Ogni and I will fly ahead with the Dragon Lords. It's still a relatively long flight over open water, so we'll have dragons resting and regaining strength on the ship in shifts. Have you had any more word from the Dragon Slayers about the situation on Draegar's Vark Galanoth? None, which concerns me greatly. We do not know what we're going to encounter, so it'll be best to prepare for the worst eventualities. And so we shall. Let's get the rest of this cargo loaded. And so we set sail to reclaim our home. How are you doing, Galanov? Well enough. Stoic as ever, I see. I learned a lot. Changed a lot. I'm only a dragon slayer, as ridiculous as it sounds. But I have the strength to save my Draegar's Vart. My weapons find purchase against the fungus that consumes the ice. None of us could do it alone. That's why we sought out the aid of the Dragon Lords. That's why we found you and the Great One. We're going to save Draegar's Vart. All of us, together. Okay. To Tinder's depths. Okay. Let's go. Uh, huh, okay, so we can't go here. Oh wait, you can drop anchor here. Heal 20%. Let's drop anchor here, see what we find. The ice elves hunt the Northlands for ever diminishing resources, but it seems something else has joined the hunt. Ice elf hunting grounds, huh. Okay, let me go ahead and nuke them. Nice. Sounds like a new soundtrack. Haven't heard this one before. Hollow Ice Elf, okay. Oh, very nice. Triple crit, love that. Very, very nice. We go up? No. Go right. Ice Elf Warrior. So all of these are new designs. I haven't seen them inside of the game before. So they are weak to fire, okay. Very weak to fire, actually. Ice, okay. You know what, let's test out our NTTC stuff here. Okay, uh... Oh god. It hits with ice first. God damn it. Next hit should be fire, right? Yeah, the bad news is that... Okay, let's see here. Does it hit with fire now? It should hit with fire, right? Oh god, wait a minute. Am I doing something wrong? Am I doing something wrong? What is it? Wait a minute. Hold up. Uh, item that switches between fire and... Oh, I know why. Okay, so there's a little trick here for you guys that do not know. You can lock the element by... Uh, after you get the element that you want, you can slot the special. Okay, because that counts as the weapon special. So you can actually lock the element over here. Once it switches over to the element that you want, uh, slot another weapon special in and you'll be locked to that element. Okay, so let me just do a regular attack. Yep, there we are. So it's now permanently locked to fire. Awesome. 
Alright, so that's how you guys do it For those of you guys who don't know Okay, now I do Okay, I actually forgot about this But yeah Awesome Probably don't need to do overdrive Since they are all weak to fire, right? Yeah, fire is 100 So regular attack will do Let's save some MP as well So uh, you don't get any healing spots along this Quest line, so it's best uh, You have to, you know, get lucky and all that So it's best that, you know, try to conserve as much as possible Ooh. Probably should have Yeah, I should have done overdrive I thought it would be enough without overdrive Okay, the oh, these are resistant to fire, no wonder Okay, yeah, I should be paying attention more, but I'm not Silly me Okay, this one shouldn't need overdrive Nice Okay, there we are Sorry, I thought somebody was calling me Okay, wow, this is actually a really long quest Either that or I'm having really bad RNG here for the quest I don't know if it's RNG or not But yeah, this seems like a pretty, pretty long quest oh my god, how many rooms are is this dungeon? Please tell me it's less than 100 rooms Oh god I don't want to enter another freaking 1000 room dungeon That would be ridiculous I also have no idea if I'm going the correct way or not And it's also not very easy to tell which one are like Ways you can go and ways you can't go So so far we haven't really encountered a dead end yet So I guess that's uh, good Yeah Why is this quest so long? What the heck? Yeah, this quest is ridiculously long We don't have any survivability issues so far, but okay Don't need that healing pad, but yeah, I wish the quest would end Come on Ice Elves hunt the Northlands forever Oh, okay, something else has joined the hunt So I guess we need to hunt down at something else that is not an Ice Elf and not some we are ice mushroom man Okay Oh god This is the freaking Okay uh, That's our first dead end here Two dead ends from the split So we need to go somewhere else Right I assume the trees are ways that you can't go to It's a little bit to tell what's a dead end and what's not So yeah I wish to make it a little bit more obvious Either that or I'm just not paying attention hmm. Oh, you can go up, right? Did he come from up? Oh, no. Okay, never mind. This is a boss here. Uh, let's see. Light. I think we'll just do apotheosis. Let's do hack. Then we can do nova. Oh, no. Okay, a little bit of health left. That's fine. Yeah, they don't do a lot of damage uh, And this is a pretty simple quest though I don't know if it's RNG It probably is an RNG uh, I don't know how many rooms these are But it's not a short quest, that's for sure It's probably like a 100 room dungeon Could be more, I'm not sure exactly But yeah uh, From what I've seen, there is a cosmetic item that you can get I don't know if it's from this quest or not Ice Elf Cloak Okay, we got a cloak i never seen anyone got a cloak before The one that I saw was the Chakra, okay so I probably have to farm for that later on. Uh, this is a purely cosmetic item. Yeah, I think it looks not bad. It's a pretty good looking cape. Okay, uh, it's not the dragon lords fly overhead. Back the way you sail. Whatever they are pursuing, you do not know. Dragon fly by. Okay, nothing here. Oh, random one. Okay, this one. Trying to conserve as much... Uh, HP and MP as possible, just in case we face a boss battle. I know there's uh, like one or two boss battles inside of this quest. So we are going to try and conserve our HP for, our MP for that when we meet the boss. And one of the boss I heard is like uh, Galangis. It's like Galangis but with two times the HP and three times the damage. Apparently that was what I heard. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty challenging fight. Probably less challenging than the Yuma fight but Still challenging. Oh wait, we have a mini king of the sea chickens here. 
Okay, and it can be stunned. Interesting. Okay, we'll take that. Do you try and stun it? No, we take the shield. Okay, so yeah, I assume he has all the same skills of the regular sea chicken. So let's try and kill him as quickly as we can. Yeah, there we go. Next turn should be the nuke. I don't really want to find out, so let's just kill it. There we are. Okay, let's see. Uh, Dragon Lord shift change. A series of raw echoes through the sky as a pair of dragons swoop down upon the ship. They are just Dragon Lords coming in for a change of guard, but it always manages to catch some Alliance members off guard. You, you're keeping a lookout when you spot what you think is a whirlpool in the distance. You shout down to the crew, but no one else seems to know. Seems to see what you do. Maybe you sh just uncut up for seafaring. Maybe you should go home. Maybe you're starting to see things, hear things, imagining things. Okay, hold on. I'm actually going to pull up the Discord now and see the list of locations. Give me a moment. Okay, so there's one all the way at the bottom left hand corner of the screen. So let's head down there. Oh, gonna encounter more stuff on our way there. That's alright. All the way on the bottom left hand tower. Okay, so we'll head there before we head on over to the landing spot. Oops, this is overkill. Oopsie, should I just use regular attack? This one we need to use hack. The other one we can... The, the pit we can use regular attack. So let me do overdrive here. Okay. Okay, this is a regular sea chicken. Alright. Let's hope we don't encounter too many of these. Uh, is there any artifact? To gain from this hopefully not you spot a large glowing patch of light under the sea and glowing a glowing coral reef you want to get a closer look but the ship sails around it the crew tells you that coral is both fragile and dangerous and as pretty as it is should be left alone okay a cloud of snow worse is way across the ship but despite the cold everyone feels revitalized and healed by the benevolent elemental oh that gave us a full heal nice a bad omen look out in the crow's nest spies a dark shape on horizon. You and the crew watch in horror as a massive tendril covered pitch black shape leaps out of the water many miles away, almost blocking out the sun. A terrifying experience. Ooh. Hollow Kill Grin. Okay, 441. Ooh. Wow, so it's a reskinned Kill Grin, and this is a reskinned mushroom. Did I land up top there? I did, right? Yeah, that was the Ice Elf one. Okay. A uh, hollow tusker. Whoa, what in the world is this? Wow. I don't know how to feel about the artwork, honestly. The mushroom one kind of looks okay, but the other one looks not ugly, but disturbing. Yeah, this just looks freaking disturbing, dude. Uh, so I guess good job on the artwork. Okay, uh, let's see here. Oh, another one. Oh, okay. Mimic. Let's scale here so we don't get hit. And let's finish this guy. Okay, easy. Now what? Nothing. Okay. Alright, so this is the second place where you can drop anchor. Okay, Tinder spawn. 25,000 HP. Holy crap. So first things first. Uh, the artwork looks amazing, the soundtrack is amazing, but the monster, yeah, okay, so it hits with water, I assume it hits pretty hard, uh, susceptible to stun, okay, so maybe we should use our Wings of the Thousand Flames here instead, uh, so we don't take too much damage, okay, so first off, I'm going to start off, I don't know what's the correct rotation, but I'm just going to uh, use whatever I think is the best, okay, so let's do Epoch Boost here. So this is a music from Goose Dragon, very very nice. Uh, soundtrack, I love it. Let's see what it does. Okay, bug there. Oh, inflict now damage dot as well. Oh, okay. Uh, this guy is not to be trifled with, alright. Yeah, I have to say I really like the music uh, from Goose Dragon. Oh, oh god. Yeah, this guy can hit like a freaking truck. Okay, let's do Ultra Boost here. Let's see. Uh, 
I guess we do Lash. Okay. Mm, overdrive. Combo. The boost. Oh my god. Wow, okay. Uh, this guy's bonus to hit is pretty high, I have to say. Combo again. Combo one more time. Uh, let's do scale. Nice, I guess we shield at the right moment. Uh, we can do gun burst. Oops, I forgot to do the laser slice. Yeah, I probably should have done that. Let's do laser slice and then we can do the dot later. Yeah, I should have done that first to maximize damage. Guys, you can tell I'm already not that great at using this class. Uh, we should be okay though. I don't think we are in too much trouble. Okay. Now I guess we try and debuff that guy. Oh no, we can do hack first. Okay. Now we do hex. Debuff it some more. Hex. Hex again. And then we can ultra hex the next turn. Don't really need to heal yet. So we'll save the baby dragon heal for a little bit later. Ooh. Oh wait, you can't... I'll try hex on this turn, right? Okay, let's do uh Let me see here. What do you want to do? I don't know if this guy can heal though. Shall I do pierce? Yeah, we can stun we can uh punch, sorry. We can stun this guy, right? Okay, nice. Let's do ultra hex. Last MP is getting a little bit low, so I'm a little bit worried there. Uh Still got a bleed going on, so we don't really need that yet. Let's do a combo. And let's do a combo again. Lash. Combo. Okay. So yeah, I'm just, I have no idea what this monster is capable of. I'm just randomly fighting. Okay, uh, shatter another two rounds, that's good. Guess we can do... Should probably do laser baits, right? Let the dot do its magic. And then, let's see here. Uh, what do I want to do? Unity? Let's see if you can get an MP heal off. I'm gonna do Unity here. Come on, Blade of All. No proc at all from Blade of All. That sucks. Okay, never mind. Yikes. Okay, uh. What do you wanna do here? Boost? Slash. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't have any stupid nuking mechanics or whatnot. That would be bad. They hack to gain the double turns. Nice. Oh, nice, we got a heal. Ultra boost, tag. Boost again. Boost one more time for the heal. Okay, so you can't ultra on the first turn, that's fine. We'll do laser slice to lower the... Lower is all resist and then we do ultra boost here. One double turn remaining. That was fast, jeez. So, let's see here. I'm gonna do laser blades, inflict the poison... Uh, inflict the dot, sorry. And maybe you can do overdrive here. Dash. 
Maybe should I over yeah, I should I overdrive first. Whoops, that was a mistake. That was a mistake I made, but we should still be fine. Let's do combo. No more double turns. Ah damn it. Wait, what's going on? Hold on. He increase his shielding or something? Oh, what's going on here? 109? Hold on, why? Oh, under pressure, avoidance plus 80, boost plus 30. Oh, okay. So I'm not sure what the heck triggered that, but yeah. Luckily, we still have the, bar, uh, the boost from that, so we should be fine. And let's go ahead and heal up here. So luckily, we got the Blade of All proc just now. Uh, let's see. Still 109, but we got enough bonus, so yeah, I'm not too worried. Let's do combo again. I guess we can do gun burst next turn. He says it's shield up, so I don't really want to do uh, any of my strong attacks. Okay, let me see here. What do we want to do? The shield, the shield is still up. Oh, the shield is permanent. Oh, okay. Hmm, let me see. Hex? Do we do hex? I guess we can do hex. Uh, let me see. Dash? Okay, the shield is permanent. I guess I don't need to be too conservative with Baby Dragon then. Let's do hack. Okay, nice. Heal again. I like that. Let's debuff his shielding. Uh, let me see here. Let's do scales. Make sure you don't get hit. Nice. Hex again. And then we can ultra hex. Uh, I guess we do boost. Okay, let me see. Let's do gun burst. And then I guess we can do laser blades as well. I'm yeah, going to have to need to use the MP heal, but should be fine. Let's do Nova. Okay, nice. Nova hit. Very good. Okay, uh, we probably need a mana pot now. Hope he doesn't have any stupid nuke. That'll be bad. Okay, we probably need to do a health pot as well. Uh, let me see. Is that a waste of a double turn? Maybe it is, but you know, I want to play it safe. Yeah, this is not the ideal rotation, but you know what? It gets the job done, so who really cares, right? Yeah, okay, let's do laser slice here. Nice. Uh, let me see here. Can do stun. Okay, the good news is this guy is very, very susceptible to stun because of the mi minus 200 immobility. So yeah, uh, I guess most p classes shouldn't have any big problems with dealing with this. Like, you can just keep looping your stuns and your shield and, you know, have a stun ready for Baby Dragon in the Fumes skill as well. You really just need one point. Okay, and yeah, it should be good to go. Let's see. Uh, let me con let me do laser blade. So yeah, all in all, I would say uh, actually, is it more difficult than Yuma? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Uh, the good news is he can't heal, or at least I haven't seen him heal. Either that, or I just got really really lucky that he didn't heal. I don't know which one it is, but. Uh, so far, he doesn't feel like he's more difficult than Yuma Because of the fact that he's not randomly healing Yeah, based on that fact alone and also How susceptible he is to stuns I would say he is a little bit uh, easier than Yuma I mean, he's difficult in his own ways in that He can still do a lot of damage if you're not careful And of course, the shielding here means that If you don't have a class that can buff your own uh, boost or uh, your own bonus or class that can debuff the monster's defenses you probably want to bring along a assistance trained baby dragon so that your baby dragon can you know buff your bonus so that you are able to hit the monster consistently so yeah apart from that I would say yeah not too bad let's do gun burst okay almost down please no stupid nuke mechanics uh, yeah, so it should be fine here. Let's see. 
Just laser blades. Okay, there we go. Nice. Something drove that beast out from the very deepest parts of Tinder's depths, but what? Sea chicken. It's a piece of junk. <laughs> it's a sea chicken. It's why our best efforts to use it as a pet. It refuses to find and just sits there. We've heard it probably tastes like tuna, but I couldn't eat it. Could you? Maybe someone buy it and give it a good hold. Yeah, so it's just a piece of junk that you can sell for gold, I guess. Nothing too special. Oh, wait. Another location here? Hold up. This wasn't... I didn't know this was enough. Oh. Uh, ah, this is Galungus. Uh huh. We might be in a bit of a trouble here. Hmm. I don't think I can win this fight. Yeah, right now I don't think I'm well equipped enough to win this fight. Unfortunately, let me see. I'll try and get my ice resist up as much as possible. This is ten, right? Do you have anything better than ten? No, I don't think so. It's probably the best one I have. I6 probably not worth giving up all this stuff uh I really don't think I can win this but I'm gonna try yeah let's see heck yeah I'm gonna freaking try guys mm, we can start with boost I guess let's heal afflicted with freeze Okay, so that's a stun there. We got 38 plus... 38 plus all resist. I don't know how much that is, but... Uh, the freeze didn't hit us, so I guess that's good. See, this guy doesn't have a lot of bonus, but the damage... Dang, okay, this guy hits like a truck in terms of damage. But apart from that, hmm, shouldn't be too bad. Absorbing coal energy. I heard that this is a uh, auto inflict. I'm not really sure if it is or not. Yeah, I don't really know if it is an auto inflict or not. Uh, that's that's what I heard about it. Okay, uh, so don't quote me on this. Let me just go ahead and do just boost, I guess. Oh my god, that was a nuke. Okay, not good. Uh, hmm. Slice? Uh, Blades? Nova? Hmm. Okay, yikes. Uh, what can I do here? Overcharge? Combo. Let's do Fury. So yeah, I don't think we can beat this fight. At least not with what we currently have. Uh, combo again. Blade of All is working well for us, but how long more though? How long more do you have the defense boost? Three turns left. Okay. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna drink a health pot here. Didn't gear sword, but I think it should be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and drink the MP pot as well. Then we'll use hack. All right. Let's hope this is enough. Uh, one more turn left of the defense boost. Okay. Take. So try to make best full use out of our defense boost. Okay, nice. Very, very good. He missed. Okay, uh, now we do hack. Uh, I guess we do hacks here. Let's go ahead and scale. I don't know what his rotation is. Okay, he does the freeze thing. Yeah, okay. The, so the minus 25 to ice is auto hit. Nothing you can do about that, but. Uh, if you shield up for the few turns that he inflicts that, you should be alright. So yeah, this guy just hits very hard and has a ton of HP. Apart from that, I don't think he's too scary. All in all. Uh, laser blades. There we 
then you can do ultra hex so uh, we may be able to win this oh god that was bad his bonus is minus 27 he's hitting through the shield what the heck uh i guess we do fade Laser slice. Oh, okay. The nuke is next turn. Oh god, should have saved that. Damn it! Damn it! I think the nuke is next turn. Oh boy, we might be in trouble here. Dang. I have no idea what the rotation is. So yeah, this is just me playing around randomly. I have no idea what his rotation is, so I really can't, you know, try and plan ahead. Oh god, this is not great. I'm about halfway there, so we might have a chance if Blade of All keeps proccing. Okay, let me do this. Uh, let's heal. Uh, let me do hack here. Let's do ultra boost. Magic. Please, no stupid special mechanics. Please. Okay, miss. That's great. So we are slowly but surely healing back up. I think. Let's see. Let's do laser blades. Okay, nice. Blade of all prop. I love that. Uh, stun is pointless, so we'll not try that. Let's do combo. Yeah, we'll save the fate for his... Mega Nuke, okay, so now we know, after he, the, the, not the freezing one, after the storing one, then he will do the Nuke, okay. Yeah, I think we might have a chance, wow, I didn't, I was not expecting to win this, though there is a good chance also that he might run out of mana, I think he might run out of mana here, oh boy, that's not great, uh, huh, let me see here, what do I want to do, Gun Burst? Oh, nice. The crazy number of hits healed me. Okay, that is awesome. Uh, should we do overdrive here? I feel like maybe he saved overdrive for later. Let's do elemental unity. Hopefully, he can get more procs. Okay, nice. We do get a few more procs. One more only, actually. But you know what? Better than nothing. Okay, absorbing. Okay, so next turn, I know he's going to do the nuke. So let's go ahead and shield. Fade. Yep. Okay, nice. Very, very nice. I love that. Okay. So, what do you want to do here? I think we can save overdrive for when we do hack. Yeah, I think that will probably be best. Uh, let me see here. Laser blades again? No, it still has the bleeding up, so that wouldn't be very efficient. Hmm. Shall we do combo? Shall, or shall we do hex? Maybe we do hex. Yeah. Let's debuff him so he hits us less and doesn't do as much damage. I feel like that's important. X again. Flash. Okay, now uh, we can save the Nova for when you use the what? Skill, what do you call that? I forgot what's the name of the skill called. Oh boy, uh, are we going to run out of here? Are we going to run out of MP here? God, that's not good. Uh, let me see here. Attack. We run out of MP or HP first. God, this is not great. Oh man, very very bad. Overdrive. Please heal. Please heal. I really need the heal. No heal. Damn it. What the heck? No heal. Are you kidding me? What the heck? Do Laser blades. Combo. 
or gun. Okay, I think gun will do more damage. Okay, nice. We got a heal, that's great. Okay, so gun was the right move. Supernova. We get a shield in two turns. Wow, this is going to be super close, guys. Yeah, I think I might run out of HP here. Uh, Give me the shield buff. I feel like the shield buff's not going to be enough. Dang. It's not... Oh, God. Absorbing cold energy. Oh, okay. That means he's about to do that super attack. Uh... So let's shield here. Okay, nice. We managed to shield the nuke, but for how long? We need a heal. We are restoring a bit of... Oh, the attack. The regular attack restores MP, doesn't it? Oh, that's nice. Okay, the baby dragon heal will be ready next turn. So as long as we survive, we should be alright. Okay, so let me see here. Boost? Yeah, we need a HP heal, man. God dang. This is so freaking close. Too close for comfort. So we can only use attack now. God damn it. Wow, I said to God, if I lose here, man, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh man. Wow. Wow, you know what? I think I think I might lose here. Yeah, I think there's a good chance I might lose here. Oh God. I can't ultra. Damn it. Damn it. Um, if I gear sort to healing, that one that might have made the difference. Yeah, I probably should have gear sort to healing. God, I'm so bad. God, I'm so bad. Why did I gear sort to healing? Wow, this is dumb, man. This is so dumb. Yep. Ah, <sighs> oh well. You know what? I'm gonna pause the video here and I'll come back and try and beat that. Okay guys, so I just want to put this out there that the fight actually isn't hard at all. So, <laughs> my second attempt, haven't used any of the potions yet and I actually don't need to. Uh, I was just one, poorly prepared just now and two, uh, I obviously was not playing uh, very well. Like, if I gear sword to healing, if I use the proper rotation, then yeah. Probably would have been able to win that fight just now. In fact, I should have been able to win that fight just now. So yeah, it's just me. Playing very poorly, but you know what? It doesn't matter, you know. Uh, everyone just plays this game for fun, right? Okay, so yeah. Oh, he actually landed a freeze on me. Okay, he didn't. I thought he did. That would have been embarrassing. So, uh, let's go ahead and boost. I think next turn, yep, next time we'll just kill him with tank. Oh, a little close here, but no cigar for you. There we go. There was no choice. Volcanic rock, another piece of junk, a huge chunk of lightweight volcanic rock. Go for scrubbing in the bath, floats on water. The wonders never see sellable for a go. So let's keep that. And in case we face something else later on, let's drink a pot. But I shouldn't have anything else. So let's just go ahead and drop our anchor. Pirate ship is spotted off in the distance, heading your way fast. Before I can reach you, a massive shadow appears beneath it. Before two gargantuan jaws break the waves from below, encompassing the pirate ship and crushing it, pulling it beneath the waters. There is nothing left to salvage. Okay. So let's drop the anchor here. And nice, we reach our destination. Hold on, Korriban. Still setting up the camp and scouting out the area. Yeah, okay. So what? Uh, okay. What does that mean? Can we jump straight after we access it? I think we can, right? So yeah, the it's not really 100% complete yet, the quest. Let me see here. Yeah, okay, so yeah, this is all that they have uh, for us for this release. Oh no, I think the two bosses, they are definitely challenging, but they are not difficult. They are a bit harder than your regular boss monsters, but yeah, I shouldn't have too much of a problem dealing with those. I will probably release a video uh, for... Probably just a video for NDAs to go ahead and beat the two fights. I don't think it's too difficult. So I think uh, NDA should be able to do the fight no problemo. And I probably won't release a more accessible way for DA simply because if NDAs can do it, then DAs can do it as well. First one, the Tinder, the big volcanic monster. That one, just stun it, shield whenever. And for the second, Galangis, bring good ice resist gear, shield before he nukes. 
and apart from that should be shouldn't be too hard as well so yeah all in all this release not bad so i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video if you have be sure to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to this channel if you guys would like to see more of such future content till the next time i'm your host carbon gaming peace out